it's Alex here from WPEagle.com. In this video, what we're going to be doing is adding some links to our content. So some text links and some image links uh, off to other websites or to other pages on our website. So quite straightforward. Uh, this video is part of my WordPress basics playlist. So uh, if you're quite new to WordPress and you're learning um, the basics as it were, then my basics playlist is a great place to check out um, and learn these things. So uh, take a look at my channel. But um, anyway, let's get on with adding some links to our content. Okay, so I'm over at the uh, vanilla site that I've got set up. It's called Vanilla because it's just running the basic WordPress theme that comes uh, when you install WordPress. Nothing fancy and it's just to demonstrate everything within this uh, WordPress basics playlist. Anyway, so let's start adding some links. We'll just add some links to this home page here which I set up in a previous video within the playlist. So if you haven't seen that one, do check it out. So to start with, we need to edit this page. I'm going to click edit. I'm obviously logged into the website. And to add a link, it's really straightforward to be fair. So um, you can do it to text or images. Um, so I'm gonna add a bit of text just to make it a bit clearer rather than just link the Latin. So visit our services page. And to make that a link, I would highlight the text that I wanna make clickable. And then you click on this um, insert edit link button, which is a little chain. So we can link to existing content by clicking on this little arrow here, and then it lists all the pages and posts that we've got um, on our website. So I can select the services page, click add link, and it becomes a link. Now the same applies to images. You can click on an image and then click the uh, chain. That one's linked over to Google, but I can obviously change that and just type an address in here. So this is to an external uh, website, you know, beach.com. And you have an option there to uh, open the link in a new window tab. So that means that people don't actually leave your website um, when they click a link, which is handy sometimes. Okay, and I think that's really about it to uh, when it comes to links. Obviously, if you wanna remove a link, um, you would just simply highlight it. Uh, and then there's this button here, which is remove link. So let's just put that back very quickly and then we'll, um, we'll save and test uh, these links. I'm sure they'll be fine. Add that one back as a services. Click update. Obviously whenever you make any changes to any posts or pages. If we click view page, there's our link to the services page. That works fine. It's opened it up in a new tab. And there's our link to beach.com, which is lovely. So that's the end of this video. I hope it was useful. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. If you like what I'm doing, please click the like button and subscribe to my channel for more WordPress goodies. When I say goodies, I mean videos, obviously. And I will see you soon. Bye.